Hola, les saluda Joey Torres. Después de cinco décadas trabajando para traer teatros aquí en la ciudad de Patterson, vemos que ya el sueño se ha hecho una realidad. El Fabian 8. Le invito a que vengan y vean su obra, la obra del pueblo. You know, what a, what a, it's incredible to hear our congressman talk about what we had in the past, almost a dozen theaters, and then they all disappear. And for us to come here today and put open eight at one time, that's, that's a pretty good batting record, congressman. At this time, we're going to hear some remarks from our president of our Chamber of Commerce, Jamie Dykes. Jamie. Jim, I'm almost at a, a loss for words because I am so personally excited to have the reopening of the Fabian 8 theaters bringing cinema back to downtown Patterson. When you ask longtime Pattersonians about memories and reminiscences about Patterson and its downtown, one of the comments that's most often heard is that they used to love coming down with their families, going to the movies, catching a meal, doing the shopping. Well, for many, many years, we have been missing the family entertainment venues, and that's exactly what the Fabian 8 brings back, that in Spaceport at the other end of the mall. So once again, Patterson and its downtown have the family venues that the families can come, be together, and do their entertainment. They don't have to go out of town anymore. They haven't wanted to go to out of town, but there haven't been the venues. We've now brought that back, so you're going to see an additional vibrancy to downtown Patterson, and we're very proud to welcome you. Thank you. And, and as we look around, uh, we're bringing the arts back to Patterson. As you know, we have a vibrant uh, um, arts part of by the area of our, uh, of our Great Falls, a nice residential component, and we're bringing the arts back to Patterson. Last year was the first time we had an art walk, and it was a tremendous success, and so now you see art galleries right here in downtown Patterson. But I must also give a little plug to the, this is the level where the food court was going to be at. So we got commerce food, sushi, chicken, pizza, you name it. So not only do we have a family that plays together, stays together, but a family that eats together stays together also right here at the great wall, the great, I mean, at this wonderful Fabian Nate complex. This is a, a, a truly a collaboration. Uh, I could have not done it without the support of the council, and so um, council president is not here, uh, um, but representing the first ward and representing all the council members here, I'm going to ask that the councilman of the first ward, uh, Anthony Davis, since this is part of the first ward, to say some greetings on behalf of the municipal council. Fabian A, Fabian A, Fabian A, Fabian A, Fabian A. No more Wayne, no more Phil on. We can now come back to Patterson to watch our movies. How many of you grew up with those comfort movies on Sundays? Yeah. Bruce Lee, that's right. Going to the favorite. Well, guess what? I'm sure we're going to have some Bruce Lee movies here. <laughs> I am so excited, and I want to say thank you guys all around. Mayor, John, Nick, Stacy, all of y'all. It's about us, Patterson. It's about us. We have something we can come back and we can uh, cherish, we can enjoy. We can say, hey, family, come on. We don't need to go out to the suburbs. We can come and stay in, that, in town, our own city, to enjoy our own movie theater. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this running. Let's keep this alive. It's about Patterson. Hear little comments from our assemblywoman, but I want I want to put this out there because a lot of people have this misperception because of the parking situation here. It's very unique, you know that we park right underneath the ground. But one thing that is not advertised is that there is a reimbursement for everybody who shops here at the mall. There is a reimbursement of your parking. So you spend ten dollars and you got free parking up to two hours. So please, this is not paid parking, even though it looks like you pay for it. This is free parking if you participate shopping inside this Center City Mall. And we got to get that word out because folks think that uh, uh, there's a cost to it. Uh, um. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I am so happy to see what an incredible crowd. This is such a great crowd on this very special day. Um, actually, I, this is becoming a habit, a very good one, I might add, of being here and, and doing these uh, special events. Isn't that right, Jamie and, yes. and all our council members and certainly the mayor? I know how happy and proud we are to see what Patterson is put forward.
forward, what Patterson is progressing and in its opening, its wonderful doors to our beautiful residents, our great city of Patterson. Let me just say that uh, my colleague, Assemblywoman Elise Evans, is unable to be here with uh, me today, but her Chief of Staff, Yvette Rowland, is here representing my colleague, Assemblywoman Elise Evans. Stacy, uh, you and I have had an opportunity to speak on a number of occasions. You know how very proud and happy I am to see this happening right here in, 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 within your doors. But it gives me great pleasure today to be able to present this New Jersey State site, uh, a General Assembly citation to the new owners of the Cinema 8 Theater, uh, John, and just to say how very, very proud we are to see that there are people who truly have faith in Patterson and is certainly making that possible. And on behalf of Assemblywoman Elise Evans and myself, I'd like to present uh, this citation which reads as follows. Commendation and praises are extended to you by the citizenry of the 35th New Jersey Legislative District through their elected representative for, for bring, bringing back the part of the glorious and historical path for contributing to the rebuilding and restoring of the great city of Patterson through the Center City Mall and the Fabian 8 Cinema. Best wishes on this new endeavor signed by both of my colleagues. Um, there was an email blast that I sent out about like an hour ago. Um, and I didn't put what time the grand opening was because I didn't want my employees to just all leave, abandon their post, and come here at 4 o'clock. But I did say this. For the first 50 employees that get here for the 5 o'clock or the 5.05 showing, 5 o'clock is Wolfman and 5.05 is Valentine's. The first 50 Patterson employees, you show your ID and the admissions to the theater is on me. All right? For the first 50 employees, take your pick. Whichever one you want to go to. I think I'm hearing the cons congressman saying he'll take the next 50. <laughs> John, I do want to present you this accommodation certificate from the office of the mayor. You're hereby presented the mayor's award for outstanding civic contribution. Your efforts has enriched us generously because a community, a community possesses no greater treasure than the dedicated service of its people. I extend my gratitude and appreciation and wish you good health happiness and success in the years ahead. Congratulations. Come on, Stacy. Come on. Come on, guys. Jamie, your board, everybody. On three, we're gonna say Fabian Eight, all right? Movies. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. Fabian Eight! Enter the dragon. Enter the dragon. Ralph. Robocop. Yes. Valentine. Watch it. Okay. Who's our first? Love story. <laughs> Spanglish and the way we were. I want to call off. And what's about a time? su alcalde Joey Torres, le invito a que venga y vean esta gran obra de su esfuerzo, de los esfuerzos de la comunidad aquí en Center City. Comida, teatros, entrenamiento para la familia, un lugar sano y muchos estacionamientos. Besítanos.